Guys of Reddit who have rejected someone. What's the worst way someone has taken it? Story 1. Met some friends at a bar event. Friends had girl who was beyond shit house with them. Friends mentioned going back to their place. I decided to buy a burrito and go home. Girl says I should come with them. I respectfully decline. She demands I come with them. I decline again. Well, at least give me a good night kiss if you're not going to come with. I pass because I don't even know her. I'm not remotely into her and do not want to know her. This girl goes batshit. She's shrieking obscenities at me, trying to slap me from the railings she's against, just losing her mind. My friends are trying to calm her down, and I just pieced out through the kitchen of the place because I work there. Story 2. I dated a girl for a week and I realized she just wasn't my type and I wasn't hers, so I told her we would go our ways. Her way, however, was to stalk me for three fucking years because we were meant to be together for life. Highlights were making fake internet accounts of other girls I dated in those three years and knowing frightening much about me and these girls while writing me, impersonating them, calling every day. When I changed numbers, she called every other person in my life she had the number of. Trying to date people I know in my life, making weird collages of me on her Facebook, making up big stories of her and me, and many, many more. Thank God it became less and less after long and exhausting talks I had with her to make her stop on and on again. Didn't hear from her since 2015. Story 3 Lying to me that she had become pregnant and intended to keep the kid. We had always practiced safe sex, but condoms have a non-zero failure rate and there's no good way to tell someone who says they're pregnant that they're wrong. So I took her at her word. After three weeks of her stalling on showing me any kind of proof beyond her word, she told me it wasn't going to be a problem, but I was beside myself with stress until then. Meanwhile, I'm figuring out if I need to lawyer up. I take responsibility for myself, so being a deadbeat was not an option. But child support was going to throw a huge wrench into my financial plans. I was in the middle of moving to a new city as well. All in all, it sucked. Near as I can tell, her goal was to inflict stress and pain. She succeeded. Story 4 A girl in high school, out of the blue, started describing what our house would be like once we got married and had kids. I told her that I wasn't really interested, and she lost her goddamn mind. For like two weeks, she'd wait by the doors after school just to glare at me. I never said anything, just glared. She was probably trying to put some kind of hex on you. I wonder if all his exes are married now. Story 5. Not me, but my best friend in school. She came onto him hard, in public. There were about a dozen people around. He was startled and turned her down. She then started screaming, stamping her feet and crying. She told all her friends that she would commit suicide. They tried to guilt my friend with that, but he managed to shrug it off. The whole thing blew off in three days. High school was weird. Story 6 A dude asked me over to his house to study. He put on some porn and asked to jerk me off. I said no, and then he figured he'd ask if he could blow me. I rejected him and told my mom to come get me. He persisted the whole time. Then at school, every time he saw me, he very loudly called me gay to everyone around him. I'm not into dudes, and he was in the closet. Honestly, I just smiled and kept moving every time, and he eventually gave up. I think he came out two years later and was one of the four gay dudes in school and revolving relationships with each other. I half expected to say that he stayed in the closet and is now a prominent politician in your area who lobbies against gay rights. Story 7. Dated a girl from work. After a few dates, I didn't see it going much further. Ended it. Girl pretty much spread around. We had fucked at work. We didn't. That single-handedly cost me any kind of promotion or horizontal move off what I was doing, so I ended up changing jobs about 12 months later after every application for promotion was given to someone else despite myself having a lot more experience and know-how with what we did. Prior to that, I was being moved around from project to project after I just went back to permanent nights. Said girl went on to get pregnant about six months later by someone else from work. Lesson, don't ever dip your wick in company ink. My aunt once told me, don't find your honey where you make your money. And this story confirms it. Story 8. Was in New York during Fleet Week in my dress whites with my group waiting to cross the street. 
Drunk girl comes up to me, grabs me and says she's always wanted to be with a sailor. I gently stuff arm and let her know I'm happily married, but point out my young single shipmate in the group. But I want you... Her friends have arrived by this point. She told them I was being mean because I said no and started crying. The friends confronted me. It's her birthday though. Your wife isn't even here. Just be nice. Your wife isn't even here. Just be nice. Oof. Wow. Even at my drunkest, I don't think I'd ever cross a line like that. Imagine if a woman said that to your husband someday. Story 9. TLDR, she got engaged to make me realize that she was my one true love and then threatened to commit suicide if I didn't elope with her. Girl who I saw as just a friend and had never flirted with started dropping really obvious, I'm in love with you, things in text. I can't wait to go on a date with you. I can't wait to kiss you, etc. I told her I wasn't interested in that way. She kept pushing until I told her I was dating someone. I wasn't. And she sent me a really angry text message and disappeared. She started dating someone and got engaged, so I thought I was home free until she messaged me the night before her wedding. Basically, she said she just started dating the other guy to make me realize how much I loved her and wanted me to save her from a marriage to this awful man. I told her no. Then she said she'd just swallow a bottle of pills and wouldn't go to the hospital unless it was on the way to Vegas to elope. I called a mutual friend and told them what had happened and proceeded to block the crazy girl on everything. Turns out she hadn't actually swallowed a bottle of pills and was just being crazy. Story 10. She stalked the shit out of me, stole hair clippings and made a shrine to me. In her closet, she was a real mental case. It's been over a decade, but she still seems to find me somehow. Was her name Helga Pataki? Story 11. Called me a greedy Jew. I'm not even a Jew. Are you greedy though? Story 12. A girl at my work started playing some aggressive footsie at work. When I pushed her foot away and gave her a look, she went on to tell me I'm not as attractive as I think I am and that I should start dating girls in my own league. I hate reactions like this. I don't care if I'm the ugliest guy in the world. My preferences are my own to have. If I'm not interested, then I'm not interested. Rejection sucks, but it sucks even more that people start to get personally vindictive. Story 13. Told everyone in the office I was gay. I have no problem with gay people, so I played along. Tell them she turned you gay. Oh my god, I can feel the raw power emanating from this comment. Story 14. In high school, this girl would not stop texting me, so I blocked her. She then went on to tell her friends she was depressed and couldn't get over me, even though I rarely spoke to her in person. Only through her constant stream of messages. After that, she fainted almost once a day during class, but coincidentally only in the classes she shared with me, then would cry to her friends that I was the reason she was fainting. Of course, though, she never hurt herself during these faints and always managed to land comfortably on the ground. She also used to just storm out of the door in the middle of class and literally fall out of the door. Story 15. Had a chick smell me all over. What the fuck, I know. Grope me, try to dirty dance with me many times after I declined several times, tell me what a slut she was, and finally, after cupping my balls, say, stop being a bitch, because I wouldn't fuck her. Weirdest fucking person I've ever met. She later broke some shit in the woman's restroom and walked home several miles, alone, on foot, at 4am without telling her friends. 